is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Tarot. It's about to do a twin flame soulmate connection reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Do keep in mind this is a general reading. It will not resonate with all of you. If anyone who does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you who doesn't resonate with, please check in your rising and Venus signs. Those videos may resonate with you about it. Alright, let's jump into this reading and see what Spirit has to say to you guys. Okay, so this side is Sagittarius, this side is... Uh, oh, no, sorry. I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> this is the overall energies for most of the people that I would be connecting with. Under the deck, we have the Two of Pentacles. So some kind of decision needs to be made or you guys are juggling something. So we have the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Wands in reverse, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Star. So we have someone, some of you, are looking for a brand new beginning in love and hoping that you will get your wish fulfillment but as of you you are finally coming out of the energy of not getting what you deserve isn't trying to make the relationship that you are in bear any fruit at all because you feel like you have no victory and it's not an equal give and take situation Alright, so we clarify the Ace of Cups for the sign of Sagittarius for their love connection. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups is clarifying the Ace of Cups, you guys. You guys really want a brand new beginning in love. And you guys don't want to work for it. So you just trust in the universe that it finds you. Hmm. For some of you, you're waiting on your soulmate. Or, no, your twin flame connection to happen. So for some of you guys, you all haven't met your twin flame as yet. But you all are anticipating their arrival. That's the reason why you all want a brand new beginning in love so badly. You all don't want to work for it. Or they just want it to happen. Okay. So we have jumpers. So for some of you, you had your heart torn apart, broken. And you all are now searching for something that is an equal give and take. And you all are manifesting it. Five by the seven of pentacles to the sign of Sagittarius as regards to their love connection. <clears throat> so some of you are manifesting your soulmate or twin flame connection at this point in time. Because you guys just want a new beginning in love. Probably has to do with a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer. But you are not going to be the one to send this message to this person. Even though you know who they are. Because <clears throat> some of you do know and some of you are still waiting to meet this person. So for the ones of you that do know, you all are not sending this message of stability towards this person. You are still wondering, do I want to give this person my love or don't I?
<laughs> You're showing up in your own reading, Sagittarius, really, guys. Because you all are unsure of this connection. You don't know if you want this connection to happen or not. You know you want somebody in your life because you want a new beginning. That is a equal give and take situation. But yet still, you guys don't know if there is balance to bring this person into your reality. For some of you, you are not keeping it a secret. Everyone knows that you are waiting for this person. For this person that's supposed to be your other half, this person that's supposed to love you unconditionally and... Oh, too many cards for it. Okay, this one wanted to come out. Yeah, because you... <clears throat> you or this person is moving very slowly towards one another. But when they do arrive, they are going to be offering you something stable. That is for the ones that haven't met this person yet. And for the ones that are reconnecting with their twin flame, it would seem that you or your twin flame is ready for something solid and committed. Because you all are finally not wanting to be alone. Because you all are tired of being alone and defending yourself against other people that is not your twin flame. But just keep in mind, a twin flame union is quite challenging. It's not, it is someone that will love you unconditionally and time and space will not stop that from happening. But sometimes you don't always end up with the person. Because they are brought into your life to teach you things about yourself and help you change and transcend. But for some of you, your luck is about to change. But you're not having a passionate new beginning. So you guys want a new beginning in love. But you guys don't want it to be about passion. What? Okay, too many cards, but, but I am going to take the jumpers. So we have probably <coughs> a male earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That could be your wish fulfillment or your twin flame soulmate. <coughs> or it could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius like yourself. So you both could be fire signs, but you would know how it fits your... <laughs> For some of you, it is an Aries or a businessman or somebody older than you. Well, usually the twin flame soulmate dynamic is that one person is older. So in your situation, for some of you, it is an Aries coming towards you or a fire sign or an earth sign. For the people that don't know exactly who is coming towards them. And for those of you that know who your twin flame is, you know which one of these signs are for you. But you are manifesting it because you want an equal give and take situation. So, let me see how you and the person that you are connected with energetically feels. Let's see, let's see. You're going to be on one side. The person that you're connecting with will be on the other side. We will see how both of you are feeling towards this connection. And then we will do an overall energy for you and the person you are dealing with. And a mutual energy between the both of you. Or you could say a universe intervention between the both of you. Okay, so let's see. Feeling like I'm getting it. all right. So let's see between you and your partner what is exactly is going on. How do you feel? How do they feel? 
Oh, all right. This one is excited to come out. Okay, so you want to move forward. It could be a cancer you are dealing with. But you want to move forward. This person is all about you. King of Wands. You want to move forward by yourself. Waiting for this twin flame soulmate connection to happen. This person... Hmm. This could be a same-sex couple that I am picking up here for. Alright, so it could be a fire sign or a water sign you guys are connecting with. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Alright, so for Sagittarius, you all are definitely willing to stay alone until this twin flame connection materializes. And then in the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So, in reverse. For the person you are currently dealing with, this person is making decisions based on passion and love towards you. This person may not have a lot of materialistic things, but they do want to be passionate and want to be in love with you. Alright, so let's see where Sagittarius wants to move quickly towards. Who or what is Sagittarius moving quickly towards? Let's see. Hmm. Being a flighty energy, so you guys are probably thinking that you could rush in, have some kind of passion with somebody and rush back out just as quickly until your twin flame arrives. Oh, 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 okay, okay, too many cards. Too many cards, bird. Come on. Alright, so the ones that fall out, I'm going to take them and see how this goes. Alright, so. Hmm. So, you all are not willing to forgive somebody, probably somebody that you were in a relationship with. This is no surprise. You feel like your luck is about to change. You are going to have victory and you are going to have a passionate new beginning. Hmm. So this is the way you feel, Sagittarius. Alright, so as regards to being alone, waiting on this twin flame connection. <clears throat> it's possible you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. But this person is not making choices based on cold hard facts or using their head over their heart. They are definitely using their heart when it comes to you. You aren't willing to work at any relationship that isn't your twin flame connection relationship. And you aren't telling the people. You aren't telling people that you are getting involved with that. Okay then. So, your twin flame, for some of you, could be somebody embodying the King of Swords energy, where they are making precise decisions with their head, not their heart. Or it could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But this person isn't ready to have a brand new beginning in love yet. So there seems to still be some waiting even when you do meet this person. Or you, for those of you that do know who your twin flame are, it would seem that, yeah. But I don't think that would stop you from sending them messages of passion. Let's see how your partner feels. King of Wands spirit. Clarify. Oh, clarify the King of Wands for the sign of Sagittarius' partner or energy that they are connecting with. Oh. Mm. Queen of Pentacles again in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it could be that you are dealing with a male earth sign that is being very passionate towards you, Sagittarius. But you broke this person's heart or this person broke your heart. Has to do something with a Capricorn or some kind of obsession or abuse or a drug, a drug addiction. So, 
for those of you dealing with a fire sign or earth sign this person is just afraid that you're gonna break their heart and rightly so because you are really in that night of night of one's energy this person knows you are their twin flame they want something solid and committed with you for the people are dealing with the water sign twin flames um this person wants uh, a commitment with you because they believe you are their only option hmm, okay oh, 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 okay oh, all right <sighs> all right so i'm trying to get uh all right, so it has something to do with an Aries or a boss or somebody older than you. <coughs> um, this person isn't ready to take a leap of faith towards you. They do want to offer you something stable and move you to calmer waters. But for now, they're just moving to Kama Waters alone. Clarify the Empress card for Sagittarius' partner. Oh, come on. Alright, so we have you coming up in your reading. So this could be you trying to find balance within this situation. But for some of you, you're not embodying the, the Empress energy right now. And that has you feeling kind of out of sorts. But you are willing to send. Oh, no. My bad. This person, this twin flame person is all about the Sagittarius. So for this group of you. This person is all about you. They keep sending you love messages concerning this connection, but they keep telling you that you are not the choice that they are making. The universe is about to step in and illuminate your path, something to do with financial freedom and you fighting and defending this relationship that keeps you up at night. So that is for your partner. So this person is staying up at night because they're constantly fighting with you, probably about money. But the universe is going to step in because this person is saying to you, I don't love you, but that is not true. Because this person is all about you. Hmm. Okay. So let me see the overall outcome between you guys. And then what the universe has to say to you guys. As regards to this connection. <laughs> Sagis are all about their twin flame. Alrighty then. Give me the overall energy for this connection for Sagittarius, Sagittarius spiritual partner and the overall energy that is going to affect them both. Okay. So let's see. <clears throat> So this is you, Saji. It's all about the twin flame connection with this group of Sagittarius that I'm picking up the energy. This person may believe that you are not their wish fulfillment anymore because you probably broke their heart. It probably has to do something with work or money.
because Sagittarius is not finding clarity when it comes to this twin flame connection. This person is thinking right now that you are not their wish fulfillment. They don't want a new beginning in love, uh, a new stable beginning with you. But they do want victory with you, if that makes sense. So the universe is saying some kind of collaboration has to take place. And somebody needs to stay where they are. Six of cups in reverse. So somebody new, some new energy is coming towards some of you. So the universe is saying work on it. Because this is the overall, overall between the both of you. Alright, so Sagittarius is all about their twin flame. Ready to offer some kind of truth to who? You guys aren't communicating with one another, so how are you going to send a message to your twin flame, Sagittarius? Yeah, a message of truth. Something about coming out of not wanting to be alone anymore. Not being with them is making you unhappy. And they are your choice. Hmm. So you're not communicating with them. So how do you plan on telling them all of this? Empress clarifying the emperor. Again, this could be a same-sex couple or it could be that for one of you, you all are feeling not in your own energy right now and intimidated by the other. Eight of Pentacles again. It has probably to do something with work or school or some kind of... <coughs> oh! <laughs> they have fun. This is about marriage, commitment, values, morals something solid and committed this is what Sagittarius wants something solid something committed um, some kind of guidance but for some of you you're not getting the clarity you are searching for you are ready to come out of this lonely forces energy where you were secluded for some time for some of you you are tired of fighting and defending yourself and you are ready for a closing of one cycle and a beginning of another. Alright, so let's see how your partner feels. They, they are saying that you are no, no longer their wish fulfillment and they want to stay single. Okay, because they can take care of themselves. It has something to do with financial stability. So if they, if they are saying that they can take care of themselves, they have a good job and stuff like that. So I would guess that it's you as the one unstable. <coughs> <coughs> For some of you Sagis. Somebody is finally coming out of the energy of somebody abandoning them or leaving them out in the cold. And they do not want this to inflame connection at this point in time because they are trying to embody the energy of the king of pentacles or probably dealing with the earth sign taurus Virgo, capricorn what is sagittarius partner going to be victorious with spirit all right let's see Something to do with defending themselves against some kind of truth. Because as the moon in reverse, the moon in reverse is you seeing something for just as it is. So they are seeing you Sagittarius for the person you are. And some of you that are dealing with these people, they do not like what they see Sagittarius. Yeah, because they believe they are not getting what they deserve, seven of swords. 
they are probably dealing with a Leo currently or they are trying to find the strength to deal with you Sergeant. Wow, that was the emperor in reverse. So some of you are definitely dealing with that Aries, or this person just, yeah. This whole reading is about cards that are repeating itself. So. This person is all about themselves. This person you are dealing with, Sagittarius, is thinking about themselves and themselves only. Because they appeared here in reverse and they appeared here on your side in reverse. This person could be younger than you as well. Huh? Six of ones in reverse now. So this person is feeling like they are not having any victory when it comes to you. So I'll clarify the Eight of Pentacles as the overall energy between these two energies. Let me see the outcome. Somebody is feeling betrayed. Ultimately betrayed. When it comes to this connection between Sagittarius and their significant other. Okay. Uh, something to do with defending themselves. And not willing to wait anymore. So I guess these two are not willing to wait on each other anymore. Wow, it probably has to do with someone of these, one of, of either you, Saji, or your partner were a part of a third party situation, three of pentacles, three of cups, that is definitely a third party situation. And one of you are not going to want to take the leap of faith, probably. The air sign person, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Okay, so let's see what is with the chariot card. Spirit clarify the chariot. Oh, this is not the person that you really want to be with, Sagittarius. The person that you are currently with is not the person you want to be with. This person does not is not your wish fulfillment. <clears throat> you can't find any clarity when it comes to this person or this situation. And this person or you are going to be making decisions based on love only. Alright, so that's what I have for you guys. Uh, uh, for who the situation resonates with please leave a comment in the comment below if you all would like a personal reading with me check in the description box below all right have a good month Sagittarius.